Okay, welcome back to part two of the scene. This is Stampscaping 101. I'm working on an ATC sized piece of stamp board and I've stamped the Seaside Cove and the uh, Cloud with Rising Moon, a uh, smaller version of it, onto the board and I've applied uh, some light blue inks and I'm working into the darker tones now to complete the toning process. Um, and then I'll get on to the uh, scratching and bringing out some different highlights with the scratching tools and all that other fun stuff. All right separating the ocean surface from the sky, masking off the bottom portion there, just with a piece of paper, fold it over, easiest mask you'll ever do, and working under these waves a little bit. Bing. A little bit careful, but not overly careful because I know I can, if I apply some ink down there, and uh, if I apply too much, uh, the nature of stamp board is that you can go into it and remove ink that you've laid down. Now I don't want to get it, you know, I don't want to be taken off too much. Um, you know, I don't. I don't want to have to take have to take off too much. So I'm being a little bit careful. You know, not to just tone everything out. Okay. Uh, this is the Prussian blue. This one about the darkest blues you can find um, in the ink market, as far as raised dye base pads go. back to black. That's what I stamped out the uh, Seaside Coven. I'll go with my four corners with this darkest tone. really frames off the scene nicely. And why don't we develop that horizon even more. A little bit of tone. waves. Okay, we have the landed sky. Why don't we do something uh, along the lines of a focal point. This is the sailboat stamp. Kind of have it, I'll put it a little bit off center good center pressure. Pressure's mostly in the center point. Holding it down, let the ink transfer, this is stamping it out in black. Okay. Okay. Mm. Moon's coming from behind the sailboat. Why don't we add a little bit of a some shadow down here using the same applicator. Uh, which side did I have that black on? Maybe this side. Okay.
Uh, something like that. Okay. Mm, I'm happy with that. Okay. Um, scratch knives. So we have this. Oh uh, boy, let's see if I can camera I'll focus. I don't know if the camera will focus on these nibs. Let me see. Okay, we have one that's real sharp, very pointed nib right there. Looks like a spear, right? Gives you a real fine line. As you can see, this one right here is more of a spoon that's been kind of filed down on the side, giving it a sharp edge. This one's a little bit more rounded, so you use it on its side, like this, in this motion right here, okay? To scrape away, this one you use, or on a tip, like that, to give you a fine line. Let's see if I can zoom in here and uh, kind of show you what I'm going to be doing. Um, on the stamp right here, we can see these kind of lit areas of the spin drift coming off the top of the wave, okay? These little lines down here that are a little bit lighter. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to reiterate what I see in the design itself, okay? Meaning, I'm going to reiterate, I'm just going to kind of make what's light a little bit lighter, okay? Now this is what I would be doing with a white pen if I was working on kind of a glossy cardstock. And a lot of people ask, well, can you scratch, you know, back into glossy cardstock? Well, glossy cardstock, you know, paper isn't really designed to be, you know, reworked and, you know, to have, you know, the, the surface kind of removed like that. Now, you might be able to dig down into paper a little bit and get some kind of interesting effects, but it, like I said, it's really not made to do that, you know, it's the paper is not made to kind of just peel off like that, you know, or to scratch off, you know, whereas, you know, something like a clay on a surface is, all right? So you can do a little bit of experimentation and, I don't know, maybe you'll get some kind of results. Might have a little bit of better results if you're trying to scratch back into paper if you use something like perhaps uh, like alcohol inks or something like that where they're kind of surfing sitting on the surface of the paper a little bit more rather than inks soaking into the paper all right so I don't want to say no absolutely not but uh, and something like this wide tip one probably not you'd probably do some scratching with a more pointed tip one if you're going to scratch into paper so that being said uh, this this surface is, you know, basically, stamp board is basically scratch board, but on a hardboard panel, instead of a kind of stiff, you know, a illustration board or something like that. Cardboard, you know, that's what, you know, a scratch board is for the most part. Okay, and, you know, uh, putting some ripples across the water, kind of being illuminated by the moonlight. If you ever scratch off too much, what do you do? Go back with your applicator, re-ink, fill it in again, okay? So that being said, you don't want to, when you start scratching this away, you know, uh, you know, unless you're going for something very, uh, uh, you know, like an expressionist, you know, where you're going in and you have a lot of uh, gouges and dramatic uh, scratches back into your board. For the most part, you don't want to remove too much of the surface. What you're looking to do is remove some of the ink. Okay, so you see this starting to kind of... Uh, the highlights are kind of being uh, revealed a little bit more. Going back in the distance. Okay. OK, 
can't see this wave over here. Bring it out a little bit. Okay, some of these uh, clouds up here. Maybe they're being illuminated by the moonlight a little bit more. See, I'm pulling. I'm not scratching back and forth, you know, I'm kind of pulling one way. That's why I keep turning the tile, the stamp board, in the direction that I'll be scratching in. Okay. So what are we doing? We're kind of, it's almost like you're uh, sculpting, you know, light in some ways. Um, some form uh, with uh, sometimes people used to call um, scratch board paper engraving because you know you're kind of engraving into the surface a little bit Okay, now maybe if we have some spin drift coming off these, uh, let me see, maybe make that a little bit more graceful down there. Got to put a big glob of dark blue there before. I have the, uh, now let's see, let's switch up and go with this little more pointed one for a very specific. Uh, Branch. Get a little bit more texture. Have it on the horizon. Some highlights, perhaps. Or perhaps the silhouette of the boat. Maybe it's capturing some of that moonlight on it. Illuminating certain areas of it. Just go and scratch right back into it. Okay. Okay. Now, if you want to get a circle, what you do is put this down, do a little spin like this. Okay. And I'm thinking down here, some in some of that spin drift. some of these little things. What would we do with a white gel pen? We'd just kind of dot it in there with the um, stamp board. You can go and scratch right, scratch right, scratch right back into it like this. Don't want to press too hard. Don't hold it real low because you can't make a revolution, but if I hold it back here, see I can spin it around like that and that's what I'm doing. Now, uh, with this stamp board, because um, it is a hardboard panel, if you spray this with a, like a clear coat, could even be a polyurethane, something that you'd spray on furniture or something like that, give it a good thick spray, and this will come out feeling like a glazed fired tile, which is really wonderful. It has a really great feel to it. And then you can mount, uh, mount these on, uh, you know, with colored paper or something like that around it and use it as a fantastic three-dimensional embellishment for, like, a card. Or you can make this, and th these are really great for kids' projects. You can stamp something or draw it on, you know, stamp board and turn it into a refrigerator or magnet. Uh, put on some strong magnets with a glue gun or something like that for something this size. And the smaller tiles you can use that uh, double stick magnetic, uh, you know, stripping. And we've done that a lot in, uh, you know, the kids' classes. So, and kids just love going around in the classes and trying to stick their magnet on everything. But 
you know, there's something to be said for a nice stiff uh, board like this. And like I said, that spray really makes it kind of nice. It has a really great tactile feel. Okay, so anyways, you can see here's some... Oh, come on. Focus, please. Okay, can you see that? There we go. And that is the stamp board. ATC. Uh, sailing scene. Thanks for watching, and hope you enjoyed the, uh, the surface and the uh, video.